So this time, what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about some adjunctions. So these adjunctions, we're just going to see like a baby example of them. But these give rise to sort of lots of interesting mathematics, and they're sort of prevalent in sort of Grotendieck's uh, six operations. You see them a lot in Frobenius reciprocity. But we're just going to have a look at a very simple example. So what's the idea here? The idea is that we're going to start with something like sets and associate to each set a category. And then to each morphism between sets, we're going to get associated functors between the categories. Um, and these are going to be, there's going to be various functions, uh, functors between the categories. And these are going to be adjoint in a certain sense. So let's start off um, with some mathematics. So what are the kind of things I'm, I want to deal with? So I want to start with a set. I want to associate a category to it. So the category I'm going to associate to it, um, well, it goes by various names. So let's just have a look at the slice category. Uh, so, so what is this? So this is the, uh, the objects in this slice category are things like x, but x together with maps from another set into x. So these are the objects in the slice category. And the morphisms are going to be, th so that's going to let's give that a name, p. And if I have another one, p primed, another object in the category, uh, then, it's, sorry, an object in the slice category, which is a morphism in the original category of sets going to x, then a morphism from e to e primed is a morphism to from e to e prime, which commute, which makes that diagram commute. Okay, so that's the the slice category. So the way I want to think about these things, because I'm a topologist really at heart, is I want to think of these as, as sort of bundles over x. So I've sort of drawn this in a slightly odd way if I'm thinking about this as a bundle. I might rather think of this as something over x. So what I've got here is I've got some set, uh, which is sort of nice, it's the arranged linearly for me there, um, and what I've got is some set E and something like that. And I've got my set E and I've got a, a map P. So I've just drawn this as projection. So this, this whole thing gets mapped to that, etc. Okay, so now it, I've made it look more like what a topologist or an algebraic geometer or something would, would think of as a bundle. You've got a base space X. And you've got a, a space or a set sitting above that, and just mapping straight down to it. So I can think of each element here as having a finite. So I can think of this either as a map from a total space, or from a set E into X, or I can think of associating to each element in X its fiber, which is a which is a set. So another way I can think of such a thing is as a functor. So let me just explain this. So it's sort of equivalent to having a functor, which I'll call E hat, which goes from X, I'll, I'll, I'll say what I mean by a functor from X, uh, into the category of sets. So um, by X being a category, I just mean this is a, a sort of a discrete category. Discrete, so this has only identity morphisms. So all I'm doing is to each object in X, i.e. each element of X, I'm associating a set. So this this would correspond to, this would be defined by E hat of little x is equal to the inverse of that. So this is sort of the fiber, fiber over X. Right, so this category which I've defined here, set over X, um, I can alternatively think of this, control myself a little bit better here. Um, so this, I can also think of as the functor category from X, thought of as a, a discrete category with only identity morphisms, into the uh, category of sets. So by thinking of sending each element to its fiber. OK, so what we actually get here is an equivalence of categories. Um, I should just say what the morphisms in here are. So just so if I've got E hat, so Holmes from oops, E hat that you have primed 
should be the the morphisms which uh, respect the fact that we're going. We've got another one here, and in prime, it should send the fibers of this to the fibers of that. So the thing above x, all of these points in the fiber here should go into the fiber above little x there. So the hums are precisely given by the product of homs over x in x from e hat of x to e hat prime dot e prime hat of x. So you've got a collection of morphisms from the fiber above each x. So we've got a map for each of the fibers, sending each of the fibers to each of the fibers. So that corresponds under the correspondence I'm just about to write down between these two things. So we've seen how to get um, how to get in one direction. So we send E E to X goes to X goes to the inverse of X. That's P. So that sends something in the slice category to something in this in this functor category. And to go the other way, what do we do? Well, if we've got E hat going from X to Z, we need uh, some set together with a map to X. Well, we, so this functor here just associates to each, each element of X is fiber, so we just take the disjoint union of all the fibers. So this just maps to the disjoint union over X in X of E hat. Okay. So each of the fibers, uh, and that comes with the map to X automatically. Okay, so this sets up an equivalence of category. So this is a equivalence. So if you, you just have to be careful, it looks it looks very much like it's actually an isomorphism, but if you if you check the details, it it is only an equivalent. So these these two categories then are, are just two different viewpoints on the same thing. The way, as I say, the way I like to think about these things are just a bundle. So I've got a set sitting above my other set with, with various fibers. So this is an association of, of, if I've got a set, I get a category out of it. So what happens if I then have uh, a map between sets? So I've got F going from a set X to a set Y. So if you know anything about uh, bundles or anything in topology or algebraic geometry, then you know you've got various associated uh, maps between bundles or between sheaves. So in particular, you've got the pullback. What we're going to see in the next lecture is that we've got uh, a pullback from, um, I can write it either way around, the category associated to Y, the bundles over Y, to the bundles over X. And we have, similarly, we have two maps going in the opposite direction. So that goes from set. Uh, bundles over X to bundles over Y, as does the F lower shriek. Oops, it's from bundles over X to bundles over Y. And we find we have certain adjunctions, so we've got F star is left adjoint to F lower star, and it's right adjoint to F lower plane. And as I say, these kind of constructions we're going to see do crop up in various bits of maths, even in representation theory, uh, sheaf theory, etc. So I'll, I'll explain what some of these are next time.